Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel and this is vlog 166 and yes, I have to do this vlog again because it is so fucking annoying how I can do a vlog and then it's like fucked up. <laughs> That's what sometimes happens when I do vlogs and I do videos and it's not like I don't, how can I say I'm better sitting down here than just talking about it quickly. Um, sometimes when I do a video or a vlog or like any sort of video that I do, sometimes I'm not happy with what I say and what I do and it just doesn't get posted and I've done this over two videos now and I'm like, what the fuck? And I know like I... Like, with every video that I have done, sometimes it doesn't get put on the channel, but sometimes when I'm really happy with a video and it gets put on the channel, I do get black backlashed for it. Which is not new. And, like, people think that I'm, like, with, like, with what's going on, like, I'm, like putting like myself out there and I shouldn't be doing videos and stuff like that at the end of the day this is something that I I I have done and I've done this for a long time and I'm used to it all now but anyway let's get back to vlog 166 and cut all the negativity out and talk why am I doing another vlog after so long I know my head's like boop, 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 boop. But like I'm kind of excited because I have something I want to tell you guys um, but um, not really say like not really say much but I will say this um, I have got um, Free unboxing, it's, it's free, not two, as I said in the last video. But I do have three unboxings coming up on this channel that is going to blow you away. I could talk about one unboxing, like, now, but the other two, they're, uh, basically, oh, there's going to be four in total, because one's two i can tr talk a little bit about but the other two i'm going to keep them as a total surprise that because in one of the unboxings i'm going to be doing a product review with a brand new company and i'll talk about that in a minute but to go ahead with the first um mail day unboxing that's going to come up on my channel um, it is of course going to be from Colway International, which is the company um, I buy from so I can do my treatments for the clients and I can't wait to show you some of the new products that they've got. But I've also, we've coinciding with two other mail day videos, um, I've also ordered two products for a friend of mine to try which I have said to her because it's basically like a little thank you because she done something for me and she didn't have to do it which coincides with one of the unboxings that I'm going to talk about in a minute but I can't really talk about because it's going to be a sort of surprise but I'll just say a little something in a minute and then another unboxing is going to be from Pro Wrestling Tees again yes I have bought another piece of merch from for my favourite wrestler and if you're wondering why does that think someone's knocking at the door at like half three in the morning it's not it's the wind it, it always does that with our letterbox it's crazy so anyway <sighs> yes i'm drinking vanilla latte <coughs> so anyway god my throat's getting sore now because i've been talking too much and it's not fair but anyway um 
with the pro wrestling tees, I'm always gonna, as I said, I'm always gonna buy merch to support my favorite wrestler, obviously. So if I wear the stuff, I'm gonna support my favorite wrestler. And yeah, but I will say this, the new piece of merch that's coming, I will be able to wear it for the gym when the gyms open up once the lockdown ends in the UK. And of course, we are in lockdown still in the UK and it is still, it's still like not very fair and like we can't do anything. Obviously I can't go out. Um, as you know, I suffer with uh, chronic pain um fibromyalgia and i have really bad i have really bad asthma so i'm basically i'm not supposed to wear a mask but yeah i do wear a mask because i don't want like i want something that's gonna protect me from others and others from me so that's why i wear the mask even though i'm not supposed to and i do i am waiting for something to come through to say that I am exempt from wearing a mask but I'd rather wear a mask because I have a special type of mask that I've just ordered um, from a company in Germany it's called Nano Nano Nanoplex or Nanoplane Nanoplane and it helps me breathe in the mask I have it with other designs with my a uh, scarlet bordeaux um i have um uh, my buddha by jack skellington um i can't remember there's another mask that i got that was five because i got like five in a pack and then i got my old business like with the old number on it so i need to change the number round and get new business cards for Skylar's collagen treatments which that's going to be nerve wracking to do in a couple of weeks but I'm going to do it anyway because it's going to cost a few quid to do it but I, it needs to be done because I need new business cards so wherever I am and wherever I end up I'm going to it's something I need to do so anyway one thing I'm hoping to do when the, the lockdown finishes is have, have, hopefully get my nails done. And the weird thing is, the other day, I can actually do my nails here if I wanted to. But I'd rather have them done professionally because I'm obsessed with colours now. Red, black, silver and green. I know it's like weird that green... You can't wear green on your nails, but I love the colour green. I don't know why. I just love the colour green and blue and grey and silver and red and black. They're my colours and they're always going to be my colours. So I miss my nails getting done. And then obviously I am going to make it my mission for when lockdown ends is to get back to the gym. Um... I'm going to plan how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to do my workouts in the gym, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video on the channel, which I think I want, this is something I need to talk about for me to get back to the gym and how I'm going to do it, um, which is going to be so important to me. And I actually have some workout clothes coming in the post. I'm waiting on new gym pants. I already have two red gym pants. And I have like gym sports bras. And I can't wait to get back to the gym. I've got my new sketches coming. And then also. um, As I was talking from like what stuff I've got in like. The, well I haven't talked about what stuff I've got. Um, When I do the mail day I've got to keep keeping a couple of items aside because which I'm not going to show on the video because they're for my friend Courtney who's my friend on Instagram and she's helped me out so much especially with what's gone on with me lately and with this lockdown and the, it's some 
one one of the male day videos is something that's to do with hair and i'm going to be reviewing some stuff so th that's a surprise mail day and i will talk more about when i get the mail day but with me um well, i've ordered some products from Coway international for hair to try as like a little thank you present because the last mail day video which will probably come either the end of february or the beginning of march which is going to help me and my quality of life is i can just explain the little story <sighs> basically um the rock has brought out a new line and this technology he's using is going to help people with the way of life especially with people that have difficulty like like walking but not like people that are in a wheelchair as such not like saying anything bad along them lines but for like people that use crutches and find it difficult to walk he's got something out that's going to help me and get me out and get me starting to walk again so basically he's brought out three pairs of footwear and i ordered one of them but i couldn't they, they couldn't be sent direct to the uk i'm not going to say much more about it but um with the help of courtney she said Oh, I'll, I'll order them for you, just send me, which I done, I sent the money to her via PayPal. And she was amazing, she ordered them for me. And she said to me yesterday, um, God bless her, because she's been through some bad stuff lately as well. And she's been amazing to me. So she said to me, hey Skylar, just thought I'd let you know, um, that item that I got to order for you from The Rock, with Under Armour um, they've arrived at my house today I was like what already that was so quick she went yes to here she said I haven't had a look at them yet she said you don't mind me if I, if I have a look at them and because she's a fan of the rock as well and how he is as a person and all that. And she's, so she's intrigued and I said have a look at them I don't mind you've you've done enough for me you've ordered them sent me the money she even said to me she said hey Skylar you've got money left over from when I ordered your, the product uh do you want the money back and I went wait I said let's sort that out for the shipping to bring it to me and she went okay I said because I don't want you paying out for the shipping you've done enough by ordering the trainers and got them delivered to yours at least let me pay the shipping to bring them to me and then I can do a whole un unboxing. She went, unboxing? So she must have thought I'd do an unboxing on Instagram. I went, no, no, I've got a YouTube channel. I said, I'm, that's what I do. I do unboxings. I do top 10 first lists. I do movie reviews. I talk about films. I get mail day films. I get mail day anything. I do product reviews from certain companies in my hometown. She went, where are you from? I went, I'm from the UK <laughs> and she's like she's been like so awesome she's going I'll sort it out don't worry and she's like so she's so awesome that's why I just said like take your time there's no rush to send them to me but she um Courtney herself um has has been doing something very good so with me supporting her it's like basically two ways she's helped me and I've actually helped her doing something which I'm gonna do a little surprise for her when because I've actually ordered something off her and her company so and I will talk about that when I when that unboxing comes, which is that's the surprise unboxing video. 
that I've been talking about. So basically we've helped each other. So we've helped each other out. She's she's done something for me and I've done something for her by supporting her and and I'm excited to show you and I'm just I am excited in general for what's coming up on my channel. That's like unboxing wise. Um next week i'm doing a top another top 10 thursday video which is actually different to what this week was which you'll be surprised to hear like as i said to use when i do my top 10 thursdays list it's different every week one week i'll talk about wrestling another week i'll do a movie one another week i can do makeup products i could do like name brands um favorite color it it varies over different stuff and like that's what i like and then that's what people like to hear from me top 10 wise about different things it's it's not just movie related it's not brand related it's not just wrestling related and i am actually made up because i am going to be showing new stuff off and it's going to be a good thing what i'm going to be doing with this channel and like i do these stuff for me so when i look back on it and go wow i ordered that and i've unboxed that and i'm going to review that and i'm like so like impressed with myself for like i've had this channel now since 2013 and i'm proud of what i've done on this channel and that I, i've been stuff that i've like gone oh have i done that why have i done that <laughs> and i think the reason why i'm cringing at some of the stuff was done is because some of the stuff was like pre because i changed my youtube channel name because i didn't want to just concentrate on movies that was more horror related and more that had a lot of blood in it which is gory or disturbing movies or i, I wanted that that's why i changed my youtube channel name to skylar loves movies vlogs and travel because they're a, they're like the three of my favorite things to do so basically doing that I do love movies, I do love vlogging and I do lo like going away on vacation and showing you what I, what I, like sometimes what I get up to and sometimes when I'm on vacation I like to keep it private and like that's how I've sort of been because and then especially with the things that have been going on lately in my life. Um, I can reveal one thing that's going on that's causing me like you do know with the setting thing straight video I did talk about I'm um, having a few going through hell and I'm few, having a few issues and one of them is called a locked shoulder and having a locked shoulder causes so much pain it is unreal and I will just say this from my experience your experience could be different with this but um, if you guys are new to my channel I was involved in a car accident three and a half years ago but a little bit before that I've had issues with this shoulder and I've been waiting for surgery I was waiting for surgery obviously the surgery has not worked and it's progressed worse but I will say this, when I do workout and I do do shoulder stuff, it does help my shoulder even though it does, I do have a little bit of pain in it. But with this locked shoulder, it's, with the pain I've had with the locked shoulder, it's, at times it can be unbearable. And I could be in bed with this pain for up to four hours, I can't move. Because with the locked shoulder, I can't lift my hand, my from my elbow 
like if I've got it here and I've got the lot shoulder I can't lift my arm up I can't I can't move it like here or if I've got it like pressed against my leg or I just can't lift it up because with it being locked it's causing so much pain and then when it in turn it kicks off the chronic pain that I suffer with and I can't get out of bed and people might think oh it's laziness it's not I'm f physically in pain and I can't get out of bed I could push myself out of bed but it'll cause the pain a lot more so I just lie there and just either wait for it to ease or I scream out in pain or try and like loosen it up by my because obviously I'm a massage therapist so I try and massage it to like sort of like unlock the pain like un it's not it's like un not unlocking the pain just to like ease it so I can get more movement because when I'm like when I do have this locked shoulder pain it's actually restricting the movement on my left side and I can't move I'm literally frozen and it's just causing me a lot of pain so having that does cause you to feel a little bit depressed and feel a little bit low because you can't do anything to help yourself with that and so that's why I haven't been myself lately and feeling like a little bit low but it also doesn't help with being in lockdown because you can't really do much and obviously because of the stuff I have I don't know if I've already explained it with the asthma and the chronic pain and stuff like that I basically can't really leave the house unless it's for essential reasons and to give you guys an update I actually haven't had the COVID injection yet but I'm due for it and I've read up like loads of different things but with everything that you have to do you always have to read up on everything and this is the thing is some people don't want to have it but I'm gonna say this for me and my myself I'm gonna have the injection because uh, somebody who with the things that's going on with us he's had the injection he has had a little issue with having the injection but after a, a day or two he felt okay so I'm gonna like have it because this is the thing if I don't have the injection there's an, I can't go abroad so and I have plans later on in the year to go abroad so that's why I'll just say it in a nutshell um I did make a new year's resolution this year and I have kept up at it and that is to save money and I've actually saved a decent amount so far so I'm quite happy and I've saved enough so I can afford to go away and I think I might have just said it in like the previous video but if I haven't I'll just leave it as that but at the end of the day I thought I'd never be able to save money because I'll just say it right now I am a person that uh, <laughs> as soon as I get money I basically spend it so to having to save money and the amount that I've saved already it's like literally mind-blowing and I have an amount in my head that I want to save and if I get that amount I'm gonna be like pretty happy and yeah so I've actually been saving money which is like kind of not in my comfort zone whatsoever because but when people have said to me well how have you gone away in the past don't you save money and I go 
well i've done it a different way because as soon as i get money i go straight to a euro like an exchange money exchange place and change it to whatever needs for the currency whether it's euros or kuna or zloty or whatever and that's how i've always been because if i have it in the bank i know i'm gonna spend it but with what i've done now and the ratio that i've done it it's easier for me to manage my money and sort out well i can still eat good i can still like order a takeaway once a week or and then I can get stuff out the supermarket and eat healthily and do the meal planning because that's what I've been doing as well for the past month. I have been meal um, every Monday, but I'm doing it tomorrow instead. Um, I basically meal prep. I cook all the food that I want for the week, store it in the freezer behind me here, and then when I want it, when I want to eat something, I just pop it in the microwave, which is there, and like defrost it and then heat it up and then eat it. And then uh, once a week, I will basically get a takeaway, but make sure I'm eating chicken because that's what I'm eating all the time. I don't eat red meat i haven't e eaten red meat in a very long time and i never and the reason why i can't eat red meat is because i can't digest it which i've discussed in the past i have had ga a gastric bypass surgery and i can't eat a lot of foods now so i just stick to what i know and how i it's how i'm cooking it as well which is helping me a lot to lose the weight because instead of I when I used to eat chicken I used to fry the chicken but now I can either grill the chicken or boil it but when I boil it I add stuff to it so it's nice and soft and succulent and be able to eat it and so yeah so I'm like even though I'm in lockdown and things have happened and stuff like that i feel a lot better than myself because i'm eating healthily and just trying to get everything sorted out right and i know eventually i will be happy but it's gonna take like a, it's gonna be a long road but all i know is that i've got my sister sammy i've got my friend laurie i've got my friend courtney and my friend diana I'm trying to convince to, to help me will like do something with me which I'm hoping she will and like all my other friends that have been like there for me for like throughout everything and I am gonna say this right me as a person I don't like calling myself as a victim even though I've been I've had a hard life and I've been through a lot and I mean a lot in my life but I don't like and I don't ever want people to ever think like this of me but I'm not a victim I'm a survivor and that's how I like to put myself as as a survivor I'm not a victim I don't like to be known as that word because that's not me um it's not about me and I, it's like, there's not just, there's others out there in the world that are survivors and I commend them so much. And that's what I like to call myself is I'm a survivor. I've been through a lot, but I am a survivor. So, and that's, so, but, so what I wanna say is this, um, and it's a big massive thank you because I am literally blown away. Right? I'm I'm five foot two and a half, right? I weighed over six hundred pounds between the years of 
2012 and 2014. And I know in that part of me in my life, I was not happy. I was not happy with the skin I was in. I was just feeling very ill. And I was told basically by doctors, you don't get your weight sorted out. You're going to be dead in less than a year because that's how much my weight had put an effect on my life and I knew I had to change and ever since September of 2014 everything changed um, if you've had a gastric bypass surgery then you know exactly where I'm coming from um, where you had to start eating from the lowest of the low which I mean it was for me it was stocky soup there was no vegetables or anything it was just stock of a soup and I was drinking that quite a lot and then I had jelly and then I had like mash like mashed potato and carrots like a little in a little ramekin bowl and that was all I could easily eat and then it progressed from there to like uh, like semolina and but like dead tiny uh, but, if, but I knew then after I had the semolina I knew something wasn't right with me so that's when I developed the uh, the dairy allergy so I don't have any dairy in Don't I don't drink milk I don't have cheese I don't have anything that's associated with dairy I only eat dark chocolate so yeah dark chocolate that doesn't have any milk which is like dairy free um, or like obviously dairy free chocolate um, and then of course after that the vinegar allergy came came about in 2015 and that's when I remember when I when I first had the reaction I was like shit this is bad because vinegar is like so common you put it over your chips you use it in cooking you use it as like a degreaser um, but it's not one type of vinegar it's every type of vinegar from your rice vinegar your white wine vinegar red wine vinegar malt vinegar spirit vinegar you name the vinegars I'm allergic to them and even like in common stuff like tomato sauce brown sauce mint sauce uh, mayonnaise because I have a dairy free mayonnaise because I love my mayonnaise uh, but I don't have a lot of it and yet even common stuff like that I can't have it's like sweet and sour sauce uh, and some of the Chinese meals they put vinegar some sort of vinegar in it and I'm like Oh no, I can't have that. Usually I either stick to a mushroom dish or a curry dish because they don't put vinegar in it. Or chow mein. So, yeah. And then, as you realise, now we're in 2021 and I'm... But I haven't been weighed yet. But since the last time I got weighed, I was um, literally over 400 pounds down. I have it all on my Instagram. How much it is. So. And. I look at myself now and I'm like. I'm like, that's not me. And then I realise I'm going, well, it is you because. You're not that person anymore that's in like. Like old photographs and all that. And why I'm speaking like that is because I posted a photograph of me on Instagram and I was sitting on this stool with the, the cameras on. 
and um, this is why I'm like completely blown away because the amount of people that positively commented or liked and sent hearts on that picture it was unreal and all I was doing I was just sitting on the chair and I had my um, Mayhem Unleashed Wardlow t-shirt on because of course you saw the Mail David last night and the amount of people that, are, that saw me in that top and have like gone well done you're doing my god we didn't realize it you've lost that much weight and and then i explained to him yeah i have but i feel better for doing it and like to you like you'd be like going well the top's a top but to me being in that top i'm like that's my boobs so it fits like cups around my boobs and then it gives me that that silhouette shape and I've never had that in a top before and to feel comfy in that because as you know I'm basically a jeans and top t-shirt kind of gal with either trainers or boots or heels and with all the positive I had off that I was like I cried because, but don't want to do a happy tears, <laughs> um, because of the amount of positivity I got, and and it was the first time I felt in a long while that I felt so comfortable and so attractive in my own skin, and I felt like quite, dare I say, I felt a little bit sexy <laughs> in that top because of the, the the shape that I had with the top. And I was just like completely like blown away and and I can't thank you guys enough for um being positive um throughout the like the last couple of weeks what's been going on with me and stuff like that and the issues I'm dealing with and I really hope that you guys when I do vlogs or whatever, like, I, I've always done this for me, like, to me, I know, probably eventually, I'll be able to get, like, monetized and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I'm happy now, doing what I do, and, like, talking about things, and, because I'm letting things out, and being proud of myself, with what I've, done and yeah I'm just completely blown away by people's positiveness and people that are worried about me generally and then they have said to me we know you're gonna be okay so don't worry we've all got your back and when people have watched my videos they've like gone wow <laughs> and like sometimes when people watch my videos they, some people don't comment on my youtube videos they message me privately and say wow i've just seen your video wow like do you really get like this stuff i went no i actually buy it because somebody messaged me and said do you get these stuff gifted to you or do you actually buy them and they go no i actually buy them i said I said, I've only been gifted one thing from a company before. And, or was it two? I think it was two, yeah, two things from a company and that's it. Like, but I'm excited for what's coming up on the channel and I'm excited to show you new videos and new stuff because when I do when when lockdown is finished and I do go back to the gym you're gonna completely see a brand new different I'm not gonna be like a brand new different person I'm just gonna be I'm still gonna be me but 
I'm going to start to enjoy life a little bit more and that is something I am going to embrace. I am excited to do because as you guys know, I am inspired to do these things because as I said, I don't want to be defined by being on crutches or a crutch or like accept my because I'm not going to ever accept my limitations I want to embrace them and if I can overcome things and walk without the aid of a crutch that's that's my number one thing right now is to not use crutches or not use a crutch and get out and be able to walk and have a quality of life but I know it's going to start a little and then gradually get to what I need to do. So, so when I do work out, I know if I'm going to be in a lot of pain, I'm going to have to take my crutch with me. But if I, if I know that I'm going to be like in a pain, a painless, not pain free, a painless day. Then I'm going to try and hobble to the gym without the crutch. Because I need to, this is something I need to do for me. And as my tattoo says, do you understand it's my power? Do you understand I am the number one? Basically, I've got to look after me. And I, as much as I'm reliant on other people I need to look after me and I'm gonna end on this because we're in 42 minutes right because I finished that off um, <laughs> like I know that people aren't gonna be happy with what I say and what I do I'm not going to be controlled by anybody else anymore and like be treated in a bad way or be put out in a bad light if you're not happy watching what I do or what I say then please don't watch because you're a part of the negative people the negativity and I don't want any negativity my channel from now on is going to be bound by positivity yeah i said in the other video the set and finish straight video like with everything that's happened at the end of the day i don't want anything to be like defined of me i just want to just do what i need to do let all the positive videos come out and at the end of the day that bully's going to be dealt with once and for all and I'm going to be able to move on from this and I know people aren't going to agree with everything that I say like if people want to watch football or soccer they can watch soccer and they can have their favourite team if they want to go out to a club and go dancing let them do it but it, I, uh, I know I'm so sorry um, but for someone like me I love wrestling and if you don't like wrestling then that's fine I'm not gonna like disagree with you not liking wrestling but the only thing that I will say is right the only thing that gets me like mad um, is when the people say wrestling is fake that's something that just I'm not happy with people saying that or like let me quickly say this yeah that's one of the main things I don't like when people say oh wrestling's fake when wrestlers do what they do they take real risks they, and 
they have been at one time injured and like one time injured or another and they've had to take like they've had to leave something that they love to go and get operated on and get better to, for them to come back to do their dream job and what they love to do so when people say wrestling's fake that's something i personally don't like and i know that there's other wrestlers that have expressed their opinion on that as well and other people and like as i said in the other video as well like if you like one wrestler and i don't like them i'm not gonna like go oh blah 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 And if you don't like who I like, I respect your opinion and that's all that matters. That's what we've got to do. We've got to learn to respect each other's opinions because that's all it is at the end of the day. Like, I like wrestler. And one of my friends could like Kenny Omega or Chris Jericho or Sammy Guevara. And like... I go, yeah, they're good wrestlers because Sammy Guevara is my number two favourite wrestler and Chris Jericho is number three. So I'm not going to like entirely disagree with them because they like a certain wrestler. Oh yeah, and Kenny Omega is my number ten. So I'm not going to like disagree with them, but there have been some people where they went, like I've said, my favourite wrestler is not good enough and stuff like that. But I respect their opinion. But in my eyes, my favourite wrestler is good enough. That's why he's in AEW. And that's why some of the stuff that he's done should put him up there at main event status. Because I will say this. My favourite wrestler's wrestling debut in AEW was with the um, one of the founding members of the company. One of the owners which is Cody Rhodes and that was his debut match they like say or oh, the face of the company whatever in a steel cage match you can't you can't get any better than that for somebody to make the debut usually when people make the debut it's like a normal match but for my favorite wrestler his debut was a cage in Atlanta against Cody so you can't really get much better than that can you but like that's my opinion so anyway i'm gonna end it here because i am so tired i am in some pain and i don't want to get my locked shoulder again so i'll try not because i have so much to do tomorrow because i need to do shopping and i haven't done it in like four days so that's naughty of me and but i need to like get out and do some shopping because we need some food in the house and I'm running out of my coffee and it's not good. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. This is like one of the longest vlogs I've ever done. It's mental. But I've put but I've covered everything in like the vlog. Like I've covered what mail day I've got. Um I've told you how I am health wise and stuff like that. And I've said other stuff as well. So yeah, so like please like the video because it does help me like i don't like anybody doing like the thumbs down because i think in youtube land they shouldn't have a thumbs down video i think it's like a proper ridiculous but i do know who does the thumbs down anyway because they're not happy with what i say but at the end of the day it's my opinion like and i've never thumbs down a video on anybody's youtube videos and i probably never will because I'm, I'm too nice like that. So anyway, comment nice things. And I appreciate um, people's comments on all my videos or whatever videos I do upload. And then if you do subscribe, it will help me and help the channel. And then there's a little bell where you click on that and then you'll get a new video. And you'll get notified of a new video when I upload it. So yeah, with that being said... Stay gaudy, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.